Hello, and very happy to see you on our channel. Today, we give you a piece of breaking news from Globe magazine. Prince Harry mocked Donald Trump and Piers Morgan laugh out loud at Meghan Markle dig. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's mocking by Donald Trump has been backed by Piers Morgan, who stated that he laughed out loud at the U.S. president's comments. Piers Morgan told Times Radio that he emailed Donald Trump regarding his remarks, wishing Prince Harry good luck with Meghan Markle. Mr. Morgan added that he received an email back from one of the president's aides, stating that Mr. Trump had also laughed out loud at his email. Mr. Morgan said, quote, I sent an email to somebody pretty adjacent to the Oval Office saying, please tell me the president of the United States that I found his Prince Harry joke very funny when he said Harry is going to need good luck. He said, I want to wish good luck to Prince Harry with regards to Meghan Markle because he is going to need it. I thought the comic timing of because he's going to need it was most amusing. So I said it made me laugh out loud. I got a note back saying that he just read your note and he laughed out loud. Dailymail.com editor-at-large Piers Morgan said, Prince Harry poking his woke nose into the U.S. election and effectively telling Americans to vote against President Trump is completely unacceptable behavior for a member of the royal family. Days before the Time 100 video was released, activist and Democrat campaigner Gloria Steinem revealed that Meghan had been cold-calling U.S. voters, explaining that she and the Duchess of Sussex reached out to people together in order to encourage them to take part in the election process. She came home to vote. The first thing we did and why she came to see me was we sat at the dining room table where I am right now and we cold-called voters, Gloria, 86, told Access Hollywood. We said, hello, I'm Megan, and hello, I'm Gloria, and are you going to vote? That was her initiative. Megan's increasingly public stance on politics will come as no surprise to those closest to her, particularly after it was revealed by a royal source in January that she was aiming to become more politically engaged after she and Prince Harry quit their roles as senior royals at the start of the year. At the time, an insider told the Daily Mail that Meghan had grown frustrated by the fact that she was not able to be actively involved in politics while she was a senior member of the monarchy and that she wanted to take advantage of the freedom to share her opinions with the world. Before marrying Prince Harry, the Duchess was incredibly outspoken about her dislike of President Donald Trump, branding him misogynistic and divisive during a talk appearing in 2016, shortly after he had won the election. When Trump made an official state visit to the UK in June 2019, Meghan did not join the other royals in meeting him, a move that some royal sources claimed was her way of showing her disapproval of the president, although officially her absence was blamed on the fact that she was still on maternity leave. However, it was revealed in November 2019 that Meghan had invited Hillary Clinton to visit her and her baby Archie at Frogmore Cottage, the family's home in the UK, where the two women were said to have enjoyed a very warm, sweet meeting. Earlier this year, a royal commentator stated that Meghan Markle is considering running for U.S. president. Beverly Turner told Channel 5's Jeremy Vine that she had it on good authority that the Duchess of Sussex is intending to run for the highest position in U.S. politics. Ms. Turner stated that she did not know the time frame or election that Meghan Markle may target for her presidential bid. Ms. Turner said, quote, She will run for president, I have no doubt about it. I have no doubt I think this is all part of the plan. It may not be very soon, but it will be. Ms. Turner added, I have it on fairly good authority that she would like to run for president. There may be worse presidents. I would like to see a mixed race woman in the White House. I would. In recent months, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have both stressed the importance of voting in the 2020 election. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have not openly endorsed Democrat nominee Joe Biden. Meghan Markle, quote, voted early by mail in the 2020 election, a source claims, after she and Prince Harry sparked fury by breaking royal tradition and wading publicly into U.S. politics. She eagerly awaits the results at home in the $14.5 million Santa Barbara mansion she shares with Prince Harry, sources have revealed. 
The reports come just weeks after Meghan and Harry prompted furious backlash when they weighed in on the election, breaking with centuries-old traditions that call for members of the royal family to remain politically neutral. However, while Harry is unable to take part in the election because he is not a U.S. citizen, Meghan couldn't wait to cast her vote, which she did via mail-in ballot, a source told the New York Post. That same source also claimed that Meghan, who has made her political ambitions increasingly clear over the past few months while taking part in numerous virtual summits and Zoom conferences, would not have let anything stop her from voting in this election, insisting that she'd have cast her ballot even if she and Harry had still been living in the UK. Quote, Meghan was an American long before she was a royal, the unnamed source said. She wouldn't miss voting in this election no matter where she was living. Harry may not be able to actually vote in the election, but one source close to the couple, who relocated to California with their son Archie earlier this year, said that both he and Meghan have taken a keen interest in the events leading up to it. They have taken a keen interest in this election, and I'm sure they are eagerly awaiting the outcome, a friend told People. Although Meghan is not officially a royal, having lost her status as a senior member of the firm when she and Harry chose to step away from their duties at the start of the year, she is the first person with such close attachment to the monarchy to take part in a U.S. election in modern history. The Duchess of Sussex first confirmed her plan to vote in the election back in August during an interview with Marie Claire. Megan, who was born in Los Angeles and is likely to have voted in the state of California, spoke about the importance of voting and shared a poignant quote from New Zealand's most famous suffragist leader, Kate Shepard, revealing that both she and her husband, Prince Harry, have referred to her words often for inspiration and guidance. I know what it's like to have a voice and also what it's like to feel voiceless, Megan said. I also know what, that so many men and women have put their lives on the line for us to be heard. And that opportunity, that fundamental right, is in our ability to exercise our right to vote and to make all of our voices heard. Since then, Megan has spoken about the election and the importance of voting at great length, having reportedly grown frustrated at her inability to get involved in politics while she was working as a senior royal. Her political opinions have also been echoed by her husband in a move that sparked fury among some who criticized the British royal for weighing in on U.S. politics. In September, the couple recorded a video message for Times 100 urging Americans to vote while hinting that they both support Democrat Joe Biden. The Duke urged people to reject hate speech, while the Duchess called it the most important election of our lifetime, in remarks which made waves on both sides of the Atlantic. Although Harry noted in the video that he hasn't been able to vote in the UK during his entire life, he urged those who can take part in the US election to, quote, reject misinformation and online negativity in the lead up to the political event. Sources close to the pair denied that they were publicly throwing their weight behind any one candidate. However, royal insiders the world over voice concern about their decision to speak about politics at all, particularly because the queen and her family are expected to remain politically neutral at all times. Buckingham Palace also distanced itself from Harry and Meghan's remarks in a stinging response by saying that the Duke is, quote, not a working member of the royal family and describing his comments as being made in a personal capacity. Still, the couple's pointed political comments sparked outrage, and royal experts told DailyMail.com that the couple should give up their titles and sever their links to the monarchy for good if they want to comment on U.S. politics, while insiders told The Times that palace aides would be concerned about their intervention. How about you? What do you think of Prince Harry mocked? Donald Trump and Piers Morgan laugh out loud at Meghan Markle dig. Please let us know in the comment section below and discuss them together. And as always, come back to our channel for all the latest news on the royal family, Meghan and Harry right here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.